That's it. She's walking with you. Show her your food. That's it. They are hope. Follow his hand. He's got food. Whoa! <laughs> Ready to be a farmer's hand? Yeah. Okay, so if you could please carry these yellow buckets for me, please. Okay. Thank you. First time for your dinner. Right, first of all, I need to put some medicine in this purple bucket because Maggie has a poorly leg, okay? Who Maggie has a poorly leg. Yep. Yeah. Every day, twice a day. Oh. In there for me, please. You take the buckets in there. You'll have to squeeze past the sheep. That's it. Yeah, he's making tinny. You need to be out of his way. Right, let me just get this flash on so we can see what we're doing. Right, well done. Well done. Right, okay. Oh, goat. Whoa, I've got a goat. I'm riding a goat. <laughs> okay, goats this way. Out. Out, 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 out. That's it, just lead it that way. Excellent. You can put some food in there for them if you like, into that black pot. Okay. That's it, just pour that into that black pot I'm for them. I'm making your dinner. Um, <laughs> can you try and lead them away? Over here. Well, I've just nearly fallen in the wheelbarrow. Well done, Thomas. Good job. Right, now we've got to go and do Maggie in autumn. So this one needs to go to Maggie. I want to see the medicine. Is it the white stuff? Yeah. Right. Okay. We do. It will come on in a minute. Which one's Maggie? This one's Maggie. This one's autumn. Having fun? Right, all the people that do hard work for us get to have a treat. So if you'd like apple juice, there's an apple juice. Maybe a biscuit. You'd like the biscuits. Right, okay, well in here, we've got a couple of Christmassy chocolate biscuits, Thomas. Do you want Christmassy chocolate biscuit? It's not a donut. It is like a donut, but it's not a natural, it's a biscuit, chocolate biscuit. Or there's crisps, or there's popcorn. You want the chocolate biscuit, go for it. There you go. That is for being such a good farmer for me. Do you think you'd like to be a farmer? Yeah. yeah. Right, if you hold a biscuit out to each of them. That's it. That's their bedtime biscuit. There you go. Okay, you might need to pick it up for them because they're not very good at... Are you alright to hold it out to them? Oh, they're going to give you kisses. No, they're not very good at floor eating. They like to eat it out of your hand. <laughs> Good job, Thomas. You ready? Hey, people, Papa's going to um, give the sheep a biscuit. Well, I've, I've given the sheep um, a biscuit to ride. I've given the um, sheep a biscuit right now, and now it's Papa's turn. You ready? Is it still filming? Yes. Good job. One for Maggie and one for Autumn. Bedtime biscuits. <laughs> Do you always have biscuits? Did you not like bit? these as much as the other ones? Do you not like them as they're not as oaty, are they? Oh, you don't like it. I mean, give them some oaty ones. I think I might have to, because I don't like those. Should we go and get an oaty one? Yes. Right, you stay there, we'll be... them, and I'll go and get them. Hey, hey, Mum, look at these sheepies. The sweet legs. This one's Maggie, that one. Oh, the other one. That one's Maggie, that one's Autumn. Okay, one for you, one for Autumn, and one for Maggie. Here you go, Autumn, is that nice? I think that's a yes. What have you got all over your nose? You've got sawdust on your nose. Mm. <laughs> good morning, good morning. She loves kisses. Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It is, I don't know, it's that weird time between Christmas and New Year, you don't know what day it is. I think it's Thursday. Um, I am having an enforced day at home. In fact, I'm having an enforced several days at home. Kenzie's on sheep duty today uh, because he didn't earn on Christmas Day because uh, it was Christmas Day and I wanted to see the sheep and Emma wanted to see the sheep. So Kenzie did Christmas, uh, didn't do Christmas Day, so we didn't get paid. Um, so he did today instead, so he's not out of pocket. And it meant they gave Emma and I a day off. Um, I uh, Let me show you what I'm doing. I'm refusing to go anywhere for the next, I don't know, well, till Tuesday, basically, if I can help it. But I am doing things around the house that need doing. So Gloria is having a good out clean out in this area. Aren't you, Gloria? 
Um, the back door's open if she wants to go out. She's not yet ventured in that direction. And she has stepped into the living room occasionally. But as soon as we walk in, she likes to be in it near your feet. And if I do this, look, let me show you. It does mean you almost trip over her every time. But look, this is like, watch this. <laughs> What's this, Gloria? She knows where the good stuff is. I had her and the cat nose to nose on here earlier because the cat thought that was something that she might like. And then she sniffed it and went, nah, I don't think so. But Gloria loves worms. Right, I'm going to go and finish doing my cleaning. Meow. What's this? What's this? She loves anything with feathers. Bom, bom, bom. But she's scared of you. Gloria, you're leaving feathers everywhere. I don't think this is going to last very long. We keep losing bits. Oh, she ran off with the whole thing. I don't think she was expecting that, was she? Look, the chicken leaves you feathers as a treat. This was Salem's original toy and it was her favorite toy. It was her uh, Robin lost his head not many feathers left eh Salem maybe Gloria you could just be the friend that leaves a trail of feathers for Salem to play with what do you think and poo no doubt I bought Rudolph in and Santa in they can dry off in here for a little bit so that I'm not putting them away damp I just want all of the water to be completely off of them before I pat them away for another year I'm going to put you outside for a little bit, see what you think. No? You're not ready for the outdoors? What do you think? You go scratch, 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 looking for worms and bugs. Look, you might find some slugs. What do you think? You do some scratching? We don't know, Pip. It's big and scary out here. Do you want to come back in? Look, if you dig around here in the leaves, you might find some worms or slugs. Can we come down? Hop down. Have a little peck around. Go on, be a big brave chicken. Your favourite part of the garden, isn't it? Salem. In the summer that gets really long, you'll be able to chew on that for ages. Gloria. Can you hop down? Oh, there we go. Having a peck around. Gloria seems to be getting quite adventurous now. She's actually having a good old root around, being a chicken again. I'll leave the door open for her. Oh, she's just having a jolly old time out there. Gloria, are you coming in now? What's this? It's not for you. It's worms. You don't like worms. You come in. Come on. And I am finally, on the 29th of December, <laughs> getting round to doing a Christmas puzzle. This is why I'm refusing to go anywhere for the next few days because we have done nothing but run around all over the place. And I've been saying since I finished work, in fact, the weekends before finishing work, that I wanted to do a Christmas puzzle and I just haven't been able to. It's just gone eight o'clock. It's nearly quarter past eight, actually. And I have done almost this much of my thousand piece Christmas puzzle. I have been very happy sitting here doing it. But my Brendy Bots has now gone home and I miss him already. He says he will come back and stay again, probably for his birthday. So that's in a couple of months. I finished it. One puzzle down. 
we'll put that back up in the loft for next Christmas and I've got about three more to do I really enjoyed that one I love this particular brand of puzzle like the alphabet of something I've done pork pies I think before or not pork pies but pies ABC of pies I think was the one I did really like this <laughs> 